This one kept making this horrible screeching noise. Um. So, I've just been in by a battery. Um, I guess true Ben style, Datsun style, whatever you want. Fucking everything goes wrong. You get home, your brand new battery, fucking dead flat, of course. So anyway, we've got the EH out um, doing jump start duties. It started up first go, so um, all looks good. Shouldn't be any dramas. I'll come over and um, I just give you a quick look at my new battery. Not that like it's a battery. I didn't end up buying a fancy race one or nothing. I just got one that said it was um, 550cc A down there, and um, yeah, as long as it fit, wasn't massively heavy or nothing. So hopefully um, that's the last of my big purchases and um, well for a little bit anyway. Okay so here we are at the Harley Davidson shop. Um, I wanted to try and see if they had uh, filters to suit the trumpets but uh, no. Um, Lucky they didn't try and sell me a bike. Um, so that's good. Um, now we're waiting for a jump start because, um, I don't know, my new battery must be shit. Um, sucks. So it won't be long anyway. Hopefully, my jump start will be here very soon. And this cool Chevy pulled up across the road while I was here. She's awesome. Right, here's my jump start. Uh, so I changed the starter motor. So it's winding over now, but the battery's still fucking shit. So we got Abdul here trying to jump start it, but it's like, I don't know, let it charge for a couple of minutes to get a minute of wind, and then fucking, it's still no go. So uh, keep fucking with it anyway. It's, it's going to go eventually. Uh, so we're back at home. Um, I got it running in town, we went and changed the starter mode, oh, I think you saw that. Then we went and got a second hand battery from the wreckers to replace the brand new battery that was dead flat. That um, I, I, I'm going to check it on the charger before I take it back. Um, I should have just took it back. Anyway, so um, now um, the battery from the wreckers, it died as well like Something's not right. It's just running batteries flat. It, the the voltmeter says that it's getting thirteen nine, but it's not. It's not keeping the battery charged. So um, I don't know. Don't know. I'm gonna try, put a different alternator in it now, and um, see how that goes. But um, I don't. I don't even know if this alternator is gonna fit yet. It's an A series alternator, so it matches the car, matches the wiring for the car but not the engine so I'd, I I don't know what's going to happen yet we will find out hopefully it um, spins faster or more or gives more power or something anyway if that doesn't work um, we might be paying to go see an auto electrician because like I fucking hate the thing I just want it to run and drive and charge the battery so um, I'll let you know how we go okay so before I started pulling the alternator I thought I'd see if it would start and like it just started so like I don't know it, like it's not a bad thing that it's running but it's it's annoying like it makes it hard to diagnose what's wrong so um I, I, I don't know I'm gonna let it idle and um, see what's going on see if it runs out of power or not at idle says I've got 13.5 there I'm gonna have to get a, a multimeter and test what it says at the battery I guess but yeah, it's just a bit frustrating that I can't exactly work out what's going on. I'm going to have to put the thermo fan on, which is going to take a bit more power out. But like 13.6, like, I don't know. Put that on, drop. Like, that's expected, but that's not bad either. So, um, I don't know. We'll see what happens next, and I'll keep this posted. 
Alright, so we've been idling about 10 minutes now. Um, thermo fan flat out. Um, I've just put the stereo and the sub on. Still running. Had the stereo cranking. Thermo fan still going. Like, putting the headlights on, it, it drops the voltage a little bit, but it's still, it's still like 12.6 with the stereo, the thermo fan, and the headlights on. So, I'm, I'm not sure where to go from here. All right, so I pulled this starter motor out. Um, I put power to it and it wasn't going. So I've um, belted the crap out of it a few times and sprayed inside it and shit, and it's all going really good and free again now. So um, stick it back in and see if it fucking fixes it. Cunt. Alrighty, it was definitely the starter motor. Turned it off. And um, I don't know if you tell, but my starter motor. 100 times better. Um, I'll show you the other one. This one kept making this horrible screeching noise. Um, yum. So, that's enough for today. Um, it was the starter motor. It's, um, I don't know. Pissed me off. Thought it was the battery to start. Then, then the alternator maybe. And, um, it was, it was just the fucking starter motor being a cunt the whole time. But, um, it was pretending like it had a flat battery, not like it was fucked. So, anyway, that one's going really good now. Um, I'm really happy with that. Hopefully that lasts. And, um, you just see what dramas tomorrow brings. Um, one day we'll get to take it for a decent drive, but, um, not today. And, um, this still leaves us short air filters, so... We didn't get anywhere today. No progress. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you later on.